Protecting the United States power grid from physical attack is a top priority for utility owners and regulatory agencies. The vastly different configurations, sizes, surrounding environments, and criticality of stations and substations make standardized security measures very challenging. This model is a fictitious substation in the heart of a major city and serves as a canvas for a demonstrative exercise exploring different security configurations. This site faces numerous unique challenges such as proximity to an airport, it's flanked by high-speed avenues of approach, and an ever-changing perimeter due to a shipping container company who leases land on three sides of the substation. Additionally, the site shares a boundary with a transformer storage facility with a rail spur leading directly into the yard. There are many physical security options and infinitely many combinations and configurations of these products, but a perfectly robust system will maximize security while minimizing cost. The most obvious component of a physical security system is the physical barrier, including the fence and gates. Depending on the severity of vulnerabilities produced from a threat assessment and the level of adversary sophistication, different levels of barrier robustness and system technology are needed. Fences and gates provide the first layer of defense and should always provide equal levels of security across the site. Barrier heights can be adjusted and barrier thickness should also be a consideration to create enough delay time for a response. If parking within 10 feet of a perimeter barrier is authorized, barrier height is a major consideration. Additionally, barrier accoutrements can be added to enhance the deterrence and delay times. Adding a roll of razor coil to the top inside of barriers has been proven to add a level of delay that far exceeds three or even six strands of barbed wire. As adversaries constantly evolve and the tools they use become easier to acquire, adding ballistic barriers may also be required to protect critical or high-value assets. Conducting breaching testing is a very effective way of validating delay times before installing new barrier systems. Some written standards for acquiring breaching delay times for physical barriers are antiquated or a leftover reaction after the events of 9-11 and should be updated. Utilizing a third-party testing organization with a well-written test plan is the best method for acquiring realistic breach delay times. In places where the same level of security is difficult to achieve, technology can be used to fill in the gaps. Technologies such as microwave sensors or other technology can be installed across gates and other openings. Vibration sensing technology may be utilized on barriers and gates. Other detection systems, such as shot detection, can be implemented if the threat indicates a need for it. Detection sensors should be backed up with an assessment tool, such as direct visual surveillance or a camera being assessed by a human. As security professionals, we all understand that detection without assessment is not detection, and an obstacle without observation is not an effective obstacle.